The junta-led governments of Burkina Faso and Mali have issued a stern warning, making it clear that any attempt to militarily intervene and reinstate ousted President Mohamed Bassam in Niger will be interpreted as a direct declaration of war against their own nations. This warning was jointly presented in official statements broadcasted on their national media on Monday, July 31, 2023. The response from Niger's neighboring countries comes in the wake of a conference conducted by the regional organization ECOWAS, which imposed financial sanctions on the leaders of the Niger coup and set a seven-day ultimatum for the release of arrested President Mohamed Bazoum and the restoration of civilian rule. Failure to comply with these demands would result in severe consequences, with the possibility of military intervention being considered as a last resort. Analysts view this move as a strategic measure taken by Burkina Faso and Mali to safeguard the recent regime change that took place in Niger. The situation remains highly sensitive and precarious, with regional powers seeking to assert their interests and protect their political landscapes. The declaration of war originated from Colonel Abdoulaye Maiga, the State Minister for Territorial Administration and Decentralization of the Mali Junta. He delivered the statement on the state television network ORTM. The coup that took place in Niger on July 26 has sent shockwaves across West Africa, causing a division between the nation's previous Western allies and regional organizations and other neighboring countries. The coup leaders, led by General Abdurrahman Kioni, the former commander of the Presidential Guard, proclaimed that they deposed President Basum due to his alleged poor leadership, corruption, economic mismanagement, and inadequate handling of security threats from extremist organizations affiliated with Al-Qaeda and ISIS. During the coup, General Abdurrahman Kioni assumed leadership and detained President Bazoum, while also taking several ministers and senior members of the ruling party into custody. Some analysts suggest that General Kioni orchestrated the coup because President Bazoum had plans to dismiss him from his position. Sources close to Bozum claim that he had made the decision to dismiss Kioni during a cabinet meeting on July 24, 2023, which strained their relationship. Niger, being a crucial nation in the fight against Islamist groups that have plagued the Sahel region for years, is now facing mounting pressure from its Western and African allies to swiftly restore constitutional order. France, the European Union, and the United States have either withdrawn support or threatened to do so. UN humanitarian operations have also been suspended. The Niger junta alleged that France was attempting to intervene militarily to reinstate Bozum, but French Foreign Minister Catherine Coulona refuted this claim. However, anti-French sentiments have fueled ongoing pro-coup demonstrations, with protesters outside the Paris embassy in Niamey chanting slogans against France. Burkina Faso and Mali, Two countries with their governments established after previous coups have also expressed their disagreement with the sanctions proposed by ECOWAS, including the option of military intervention. Guinea's president, whose government was also the result of a coup, has joined in voicing opposition to the sanctions. Guinea's president argued that these sanctions would not resolve the current crisis but rather lead to a humanitarian disaster that could extend beyond Niger's borders. Guinea's president refused to apply the sanctions, considering them illegitimate and inhumane, urging ECOWAS to reconsider its stance. The junta responsible for the Niger coup is receiving firm support from ruling juntas in neighboring and other countries, indicating a show of solidarity. Burkina Faso, Mali, and Guinea's expressions of support demonstrate their willingness to stand united during times of political instability and power transitions. By warning against foreign military intervention and declaring it a declaration of war, these nations are sending a strong message of backing each other's governance arising from coup transitions. This unity may be driven by their shared experiences of facing coups and their desire to maintain stability and preserve their current regimes. The arrest of top officials from the overthrown government in Niger further underscored the military's resolve to consolidate its control. The support from neighboring juntas reinforces the clear warning that any efforts to reinstate President Bazoum will encounter significant resistance from the region. What are your thoughts on Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea supporting the Niger coup and warning against foreign military intervention, considering any such initiative as an act of war? Please share your opinions in the comment section below. We value your input and encourage open dialogue on this complex and evolving situation. If you found this analysis informative, feel free to like and share the video to boost its visibility on the YouTube algorithm.
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos, providing comprehensive insights on significant global events. Thank you for engaging with our content.